everybody welcome to a new rain vlog this is very unusual because um today is the first day of hogwarts house battle readathon and i'm just really excited to participate in it because i've been wanting to participate in a harry potter re themed readathon for so long and i'll be telling you guys the books that i'll be reading for this week so i'm gonna be reading um Mist, Metal, and Ash by Gwendolyn Clare. And of course, this, this is for the challenge for reading a book at night only. So I might do a chapter a day. I don't know how many chapters there are in this book, but I'm going to try to read as much as I can at night. And then I got Blue Leaf by um, Crystal Smith. And I'm going to make um, this counts for my five star prediction I I should say I'm not quite sure but I'm gonna be reading this but for today I'm gonna be starting the Cruel Prince by Holly Black because this is the one that I bought recently so I thought this would be a good start and I've heard nothing but good things about it so I know some people did not enjoy it as well but I'm gonna be starting this today and I'm hoping to get um, seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo on Ayaba because right now my library doesn't have it available but I placed it on hold so I'll be reading that hopefully fingers crossed so yeah this week is gonna be a good week for me so fingers crossed for me now uh, my reading plans will go well for this week so now get get to reading hey everybody happy second day of Hogwarts house battles readathon and Yesterday was a bad start for me. I did not read a chapter of Mest, Metal, and Ash last night. I was just so tired that I just didn't feel like reading. But I will try to read like maybe a chapter tonight before I go to bed. I'm not quite sure. And I'm only a chapter in of Cruel Prince, which I'm liking so far. But I did not read further than that. Just because I, my, Kevin and I weren't went on a... Well, yesterday with his family, but except I didn't vlog because I feel like with people outside of his family, it would be too awkward to vlog. So we did that, and I didn't get home until like a, not 11 at night, like 10 at night. So yeah, I just, or 9:30, I should say. But I'm just so tired that I just didn't feel like reading last night or the rest of it car ride but I thought I'd show you guys my new pajamas it's Bo Peep themed and I like it it was on sale for $17 so I was like might as well get a new Disney um, pajamas that that is on sale and I forgot to show you guys other stuff that I got for my shopping trip from my last reading vlog so I'm gonna be showing you those so the first thing that I got for my shopping trip well it's the last thing that I got actually is Olaf and I'm just so happy to have them because I'm going to be having a Disney themed and bookish themed office when I move in with Kevin. We don't know when that's going to happen yet but I just need it Olaf because he always brings a smile to my face whenever I see him just because he's a funny snowman. He's like my favorite snowman other than Frosty from um, those Christmas movies Frosty the snowman so he's just so adorable I just couldn't say no to Olaf. And the next thing I got is this um, dress, and and I really like it. I keep couldn't tell from the front. I'm not gonna try this on in front of you guys just because of the way it looked when I tried it on. But I'm just glad that I got myself a summer dress, and I got this from H&M, and it's it was four dollars when I got this, so I'm glad that I got this on sale. <laughs> the last thing I got from my shopping trip is just this body wash from. Bath & Body Works, which is one in a million, and I just like the scent of it, so, yeah, and I got it, I have so many body washes from Bath & Body Works, but I just thought I'd give myself one of the new scent, um, scents, so, why not, so that, that was it for my shopping trip last week, and I'm gonna be showing you guys some of the other stuff that I got, other than, um, this pajamas that I got, <laughs> so I got this, um, Mickey graduation cap because I graduated from college and I want to bring this with me when I go to Disney with my family because I graduated 
college this year and I and you can get them signed by the characters so I thought it was really cool and my sister got her sign when we went there for her high school graduation so I was like might as well get mine for college so I just thought I would have this just so I would have this one signed by um, um, various Disney characters. <laughs> another thing I got is another journal which is this um, Peter Pan journal and it was on sale of course so I had to get it and I just love the feeling of it it's like felt and it's beautiful and I also like the inside so here it is I don't think you guys can see it but it's like all Peter Pan and I'm just mm, I just need this in my life <laughs> another thing I got is this Peter Pan backpack and it's a lunch fly backpack it was on sale from Hot Topic for um 26 uh, 99 or something like that and I just need this because I never have a dizzy themed backpack but I mean I just wanted this just be even though I'm not in school anymore I just need this in my life and I just love the design of this backpack and wait wait this journal actually matches with my backpack that's the hilarious part I did not notice those two match like I just need this backpack in my life and I might and it might be useful for me one day. <laughs> Next thing I got is this Spider-Man mini ears. I just needed this because Spider-Man is my number one favorite Marvel character and I like the design of it and I know that there's drama going on with Disney and Sony and I I don't want to talk about it just because Kevin I all I have to want to say is Kevin and I are mad about it and we're not going to talk about our opinions about it because I'm pretty sure you guys have different opinions about it so but anyways I just Love these ears. I have not tried it on. I want to see how it looks. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love these so much. <laughs> and I'm going to be wearing these for um, when Kevin and I go to California and like someday, we don't know when, um, Disney, um, this is California Adventures going to be opening Adventures Campus. So I thought I would wear these for that day when we go to Disney's California Adventure Park so just because they, they have a Spider-Man ride which I'm excited about and I just love Spider-Man he's my favorite Marvel character so yeah <laughs> the last thing I got is this beautiful being a beast phone case I got a new phone recently so I just thought I'd get myself a phone case uh, hopefully my camera would focus focus I'm trying to make it focus but it's failing me right now, but I am trying to make a focus right now, and so far it's not. It's not gonna focus on me. I I tried, but hold on. Yeah, I tried. It's a beautiful being a beast themed um, phone case, and I just had to have this. This is like my favorite. Thing um, that is being a beast theme is that stained glass window that told the story of being a beast right at the end when Bell and Beast um, fell in love and and the spell was broken. So yeah, I had to get myself a being a beast phone case because I love being a beast and it's just so beautiful. <laughs> so that's it for um, the, a long random haul. I'm sorry to to show you guys some of the stuff that I got. But now I'm going to get to reading and hopefully get some filming because I want to um, get some filming done as much as possible because about it. So yeah, hopefully it'll go well for me and yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. Um, I only reached a chapter of Miss Mel and Ash last night so yeah, I didn't do a lot of reading yet last two days and I'm so mad at myself for it. I mean, I was pretty busy yesterday, so yeah, and I'm be continuing um, The Cruel Prince and then I'll be reading um, Miss Metal and Ash tonight before I go to bed, so yeah, that's pretty much my plan for today other than reading my um, or editing my August wrap-up video because I know that needs to go up tomorrow, so yeah, and it's 1 o'clock, and I'm wasting, like, all morning, so, like, not reading, so I'm going to get 
some ra more rain done today. Happy Wednesday. I literally thought today is Thursday. Maybe it's because I started the vlog on a Sunday. I I honestly don't know, but I want to give you guys rain updates. I got up to like about 50 pages in of The Cruel Prince. I know I need to read more than that today, which is my goal. And then I only got into four chapters in of Miss Malin Ash last night, which is good because I was planning on reading like five chapters a day, so that's pretty close. But today I'm going to do some more reading and um, and later today I'm going to, Kevin and I are going to go on a walk because now he really got me hooked into Pokemon Go. So yeah, and I want to do a mission that was given to me in Pokemon Go and, and yet I am loving playing Pokemon Go right now. So yeah, and wish me luck on the reading. So I'm back at home. Um, I only read a pit, um, chapter of the Cruel Prince, but I want to read a bit more tonight as soon as I read a chapter of Miss Metal and Ash just because like that one is to read at night only, but I have packages that I need to open up and I didn't want to wait until morning so I'm going to be opening these right now before I continue on reading before I go to bed. Oh, I honestly forgot I ordered this. It was like no one or something was messing. Um, I got this shirt that has bell on it and it says my weekend is booked. That's what it was missing in my package. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I can't wait to wear this in my videos or just um, anytime in general. And I just love this shirt so much. Yeah, now I'm opening up the package I got from Barnes & Noble. I know I'm on a book buying ban, but I still have leftovers for my gift card for my birthday, so I decided to use it up. So I honestly forgot what I ordered, so we'll see what I got. I got is The Kingdom by um, Jess Rath um, Rothenberg. I think that's how you pronounce her name. And all I know about this book is a fantasy that takes place in a, um, a theme park, which sounds really cool. And I and I was one of the books that was 50% because Disney, uh, not Barnes and Noble was having a um, um, book haul blowout sale, so I decided to get this book, and I just can't wait to read it when I can. Oh yeah, and I got Warrior of the Wild by Trisha Levenseller. I've been I love um, Daughter of the Siren, uh, Daughter of a Pirate King duology from her, and I wanted to read this book because it's all about um, Vikings, and I just noticed that this part of the dust jacket is damaged, but and I'll just put tape on it because it's no big deal. And, ooh, it's pretty underneath. And it has a symbol underneath there. I can't tell what it is. I know you. I wouldn't be able to show you guys because you guys wouldn't be able to see it. But I can't wait to read this. And it's a, another Viking story. I've been, there are a lot of stories that have been grabbing my attention lately. Like Vikings. My ancestors were Vikings, so that's why it's grabbing my attention. But other than that, I'm just really excited to read this whenever I can. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be saying this to every book that I got here. Oh yeah, the next book that I got is Die, Died in a Wall by Peggy Earhart. This is a sequel to Murder, She Knits and it's a um, cozy mystery that I've read for a 24 hour readathon um, back in March and I loved it so much that I needed to read the sequel and Look at the cute little kitty on the cover. I just love um, books that have kitties on the cover. I just can't help it. And the last book that I got, oh boy, is um, Forest of Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Dow, which is um, an origin story to um, 
Dave Laquain from Snow White, and part of the book is damaged. Oh my gosh, I'm so mad, and I wish that they didn't give me a damaged book. Um, hopefully I'll be... I would just put hardcover books on top of it to make sure everything is flat, because I did as a pet peeve of mine when I do like ordering books online, but it bugs the heck out of me that um, they sir send you a damaged book, which I don't know, don't like, but this is frustrating, and like, two books I got were damaged, <laughs> but I am not gonna send them back because I'll be a waste of money and time, so I'm just gonna put this on top of different hardcover books to, m to make it more flat so it's less damaged, but other than that, I love this cover more than the original cover, and I'll be talking about that in a future video, but I'm just excited to read this for another fairy tale retelling for my TBR. So that is it. Now I'm gonna get to read and I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey everybody, it's Thursday. I did not do any more reading done last night. I just decided to go to bed like around 10 and it's like, what time is it? It's, it's like 8.20 right now, so I did not do any reading last night. I was just so tired that I just decided to go about early because I just need to put my health first for a day and then and plus I want to get used to my sleeping schedule before I start my new uh, job, so yeah, and um, so I'm me doing some reading today, and I'm gonna do some filming, and I might take some postgram um, photos because I haven't taken them in a while. So yeah, that's my plan for today, and um, yeah, wish me luck. <laughs> so it's much much later. It's like almost 8:30. I want to give you guys a reading update for *The Cruel Prince*. I am like 80 pages. I'm flying through it, so I'm really hoping to read a bit more of this. And then read a little bit of Mist, Mel, and Ash. Uh, not Ashes, it's Ash. So. Mist, Mel, and Ash. So, yeah, that's the name of the book. So I can um, read those two while I'm uploading a video because I do not like staying, like editing a video and then uploading it all in one night. But since I'm just, I was wanting to get used to my sleeping sleeping schedule, but I know that's not going to work out, so yeah, that's what I'll be doing before I go to sleep. I forgot to mention that I actually was scrolling through um, Club Library because I rent audiobooks through my library, and I just found an um, audiobook for Wicked Saints, which is on my TBR, and I am s just so happy. And then I found an audiobook for The Cruel Prince, and I'm reading it physically, but I'm really liking rain physically on this book right now, so I don't want to give it up and then listen to the rest on audiobook. But I'm just so happy about buying an audiobook for this readathon, because before I even filmed my TBR video, I was struggling on finding some of the books on my TBR on audiobook, and I I was not successful on that. I thought, oh, I had to read all my books physically, but I'm just so happy that I found Wicked Saints on audiobook, so I'll be starting it like tomorrow because I do not like listen to audiobooks while I'm at night time because I don't want to end up falling asleep during the audiobook. So, yay!
good morning happy friday i've read more of the cruel prince and i got to page 142 so oh, someone's texting me anyway i i got to page 142 of the cruel prince hopefully i'll get more than halfway through it today and so i can finish it tomorrow and i have not read Miss Mal and Ash last night. I just wanted to continue on reading The Cruel Prince, so I'm be doing that tonight because that's the one book that you have to read at night only. So hopefully, I'll get more of that done um, tonight as well. So that's my plan for today. I didn't film any videos yesterday. I just wanted to uh, be an all reading day, but I'm be filming a bunch of videos today and. Yep, that's my plan for today. Hey everybody, it's Sunday. I'm gonna be wrapping up this reading vlog. I did not do any reading yesterday, Saturday, and then I only did a little bit of reading today, but I only got chapter in for The Cruel Prince. So I'm sorry that this reading vlog was a bit not get finished at least one book for the week, but I'm gonna try to get some reading done tonight while I'm um, uploading this week's reading vlog so yeah anyways if you enjoy this reading vlog give us a thumbs up and comment down below what you're currently reading or what readathon you're participating in September I just want to know because this readathon is a bit challenging for me especially when I've been in I've been in and out of a rain slump I'm not like a rain slump mode right now it's just pushing myself to read. It's not been helping me at all, but I do want to get a lot of rain done for this readathon just because it's a unique readathon for one and two. I just want to read at least more than five books a month. I'm just pushing myself, but I'm just trying not to push myself too hard because that's been stressing me out lately. But anyways, if you want to follow me on social media, I have Facebook on our last reader, and I have Twitter and Instagram on last reader 19. I also have Goodreach, which I'll link down below. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you don't want to miss any bookish contact from me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!